This next settlement will be in the Royal Woodlands again. And this is definitely the spot to go because if we were to go at the Coral Forest, we would have access to this point of interest. So one, two, three, no problem. But it doesn't actually reach up to this other point of interest here. So if we wanted to go there, uh, the only way to get there would be by going to these Royal Woodlands. One, two, three reaches that. And then one, two, three would reach the seal if we really needed to go there next. Uh, and we would still keep access to this point of interest. So we'll head to the Royal Woodlands here. We have harpies, beavers and harpies, or foxes. Between these, I'm going to take one of these two because there are just more people. One more person here and additional parts definitely makes this look very reasonable for us. We're going to take Prestige 11. Prestige 10 is the minimum for this location because of the distance from this wilderness city. Goods are worth less to traders. I'm going to go to Prestige 11 though because it adds one to the number of seal fragments we earn and more importantly, it's this Blight Rod has a stronger impact which is honestly kind of a bonus if we can find cornerstones that work off of that. Um, it does cost us more wood, I guess, for purging fire. I don't know what we're starting with here, though. I'm not a big fan of the options. We could take farms. Six points for these. I'm not taking anything worth six points because it, you know, takes away from our embarkation, um, reserve embarkation points. We're not using those up. So we'll take two points for added additional people and then maybe just three points for the planks. I don't know take two points for the bricks. The Royal Woodlands does have access to clay, but sometimes you don't get it right away. So we'll take the additional bricks and then 42 meat. That'll do. Wild cards. Very rare rewards that allow you to select one or more blueprints from your entire pool of buildings that you have unlocked. Well, we've only seen that from the smuggler's cache, right? Or the smuggler's visit. That's what's called a cornerstone there. The gift of the woodlands. Trees give more wood. Important matters. Impatience grows 70% slower during drizzle season. The queen seems to be preoccupied with more pressing matters. That's cool. Flooded roads. Travel cost of trade routes is increased by two during the storm. Rotting wood. We don't want to be chopping down trees during the storm. Okay. Hailstorm. People have a chance of dying if they don't have houses. So let's get houses built. And sacred flame rituals. Only the sacred flame can protect the settlement from the darkness surrounding it. Pay three wood for every villager in your settlement. And if you don't pay for all of them, two people will leave. Okay. Well, three wood for every villager in settlement. Eventually we get to like 40 people, so that does end up costing, you know, 120 wood per storm. Fortunately, we are in the Royal Woodland, which gives more tree, more wood per tree. And we have beavers, which also give more wood per tree. So it's, uh, you know, the perfect situation to have that cornerstone. Set them off to do their thing. We have plant fiber and roots, so no clay. Makes me glad that I took those bonus bricks to begin with. Definitely have our um, our harpy as a hearth keeper that increases our carry capacity. Herb garden, forger's camp, press, and manufactory. Between these, I'm actually leaning towards the manufactory, even though the forger's camp would obviously make a lot of sense. Getting upgraded production when we have roots already is a very good thing to have. Cornerstone says firekeeper's armor. I like it. Guild catalog, local taxes, and woodcutter's song. So woodcutter's song, this won't be in effect during the storm for us, although it could be. Um, interesting, because this is based on the number of felled trees, not the amount of wood gathered or anything. So we could just keep woodcutters in during the storm. They don't actually gain any resources, but cutting down the trees would give us additional resolve to help us through the storm. That's an option. I do really like the firekeeper's armor, though. Redu removing extra corruption is, it just feels good. It avoids big bad stuff. Woodcutter's song versus firekeeper's armor. I guess we'll take the woodcutter's song. We'll take a look at We can always build a second blight post. I will take the upgraded forge camp just for the more efficient gathering. A lumber mill? I love the lumber mill. A supplier is a very good second option, though. But this lets us make packs of trade goods. Oh man, a prisoner. These, these three are... All, all four are excellent options. I think I want to take the lumber mill, though. Yeah. Yeah, I like the lumber mill. Um, it let, yeah. Uh, and then a cookhouse, a granary. We don't need the skewers necessarily. We haven't seen who our other species is, our third species. Biscuit production is fine, but I'd rather just hold out for better. So we'll take the fabric production on this. Okay. Well, lumber mill, I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe overly fond of it. I, I really could have just taken that two star, the supplier there for the two star planks. It's almost as efficient. 
and uh, of course we would get the flower production as well. I may have made a poor choice there. New orders, I'm not going to pick them just yet. We'll wait until we're more set up. But an added bonus for lumber mill is that the beavers are more efficient with it. They have a 10% chance of doubling their yields. Waiting on one plank? Oh, he's taking a break. Alright, now he's going for work. We actually have a lot of rules available to us, and so we have a lot of workers. Let's get a forger's camp going for the food. And... Alright. You've got the planks. Deliver those so we can get some fabric going in the greenery. Greenery. We'll turn off the packs of crops for now. I don't want to be consuming all of our food. We'll leave the pickled goods on because beavers like those. So if we happen to find some containers, we're happy to make them there. Make the pickled goods. We do need housing. Once these guys have made some more progress on... The oh, look at that. They've got a lot of planks already. This is why I love the lumber bill. Look how quickly they can make stuff. And it's only three wood for every two planks. Amazing. We'll... Um, we'll tell them to deliver effort to this one. And then take one of them out and start building houses. And what are we doing for that? I think I'll just start with some big shelters. We don't need to get the fancy stuff going right away. More important, we have housing of some kind. And then a park. We can take this guy out. Oh, apparently they've run out of planks. There you go. Or run out of uh, required planks. But we can always produce more. We have a lot of beavers. We'll be making use of those planks for sure. Lots of beaver houses will be constructed this game. And I may as well just extend the path out. We'll go over here. Sure. When next year comes around, we'll be opening a dangerous glade. It's actually a, a little ways to the dangerous glades. Tell them to chop down. Oh, what did I click? I want to click this one. Chop down the trees in that direction. All right, housing is going up. Thank goodness. We are going to need another house for people because uh, I want to accept newcomers during the rainstorm. Okay, our woodcutters are still here. Our hostility is fine, so I'm going to leave them woodcutting because chopping down more trees, while it does mean we lose wood, it gives us resolve and they chop down the trees faster I'm, I'm curious to see whether this just resets the time or whether it stacks right now we have plus three to resolve we're learning here um, all right I guess they haven't cut down 20 trees yet does it only start counting once the time is over hmm if so that makes this a lot less impressive Oh wait, hold on. It's counting over here, isn't it? Yeah, 13 out of 20. Okay, so they're nowhere near, even with double the tree cutting speed. Huh. Alright, maybe not as good as I thought it was. I think it's quite good in the coral forest, because you want to be cutting down a lot of trees over there. We'll take the woodcutters out so we're not wasting our trees. And accept new people. Three people over here? Yeah. Although we haven't built that house yet, but we're not at two hostility, so no problem. Why have we not built that house? running I have yeah we have two people in there they're doubling the production well done people we could also be yeah we do have better fabric production as well or we could get some plant fiber harvested oh. new cornerstone ancient pack crowded houses woodcutters prayer and workers rations I like the workers rations a lot yeah we we produce we consume more food but we also produce more woodcutters prayer for increased wood production I don't feel we really need that in this run Ancient Pact is amazing. I really like Ancient Pact. It increases our hostility though. Or not our hostility, it increases our impatience whenever we open a dangerous or forbidden glade. Hmm. I think I am going to pass on it, which is too bad. But it's really good. We're going to take the workers' rations. It's fun. I would like to find a source of food. <laughs> We're running out of food quickly. Upgrade, geyser, pump, value of goods sold. We'll take the value of goods sold. 
That's easier to complete. It doesn't require any additional resources. Dangerous Glade event completed within 10 and a half minutes. We're about to open a Dangerous Glade. So yeah, absolutely, we'll do that. The rewards are meh. Two-star biscuits is nice. Actually, we could use tea this game because we have harpies and foxes. So tea is not a bad idea. Hearts are nice. And of course, the reputation is important. And then open more glades. Rebuild or salvage ruins. I'm probably not doing this. It does give us a tool shop though. Oh, that's where we got the tool shop last game. We did this, right? I forgot. Um. Oh, reads per minute. And that's of course why we had so many reads last game. That's funny. I completely forgot I did this. So if we open this next glade, hmm. The dangerous glade has ruins that we can rebuild or salvage. Then yeah, we can get this done by opening two more small glades. Yeah, we'll take it. Sure. And then glades in time. Sure, we can do that. That's a big reward. 20 copper bar is pretty cool, but we'll take this one. It's easier to do. I just want that initial reputation for the blueprints. Druid's hut for oil production is not bad, and it gives access to coat production, which is nice as well. Have 12 foxes and keep them happy. It's going to be a while until we get 12 foxes. That was copper bars would be sweet. Actually, now that we have foxes, does it tell us where the nearest geyser is? Okay, the nearest geyser is this clearance water one, which is not the drizzle water we are looking for. In that case... I think we'll just take this because it's easier. Comes with parts as well. I like parts. Hmm. Deliver 100 drizzle water. We'll take this one. It'll be a while until we can complete it though. Now, very importantly, I need to... I need to press the right button. F. <laughs> there we go. It's F for... I don't know. I'm not... For cutting down trees. I don't know what that stands for. We'll put our beavers in the woodcutters camps. Of course. Hard to chop down trees if they don't have their axes and whatnot. We'll put these guys over here just to grab some wood. And then... Open that glade, please. Actually, what am I saying? This guy needs to open a glade. We're opening... One small glade. One dangerous glade. And then we'll have to see what happens here. Either we have ruins here and we're happy. Oh, we have ruins. We are happy. Look at this. Rebuild the trapper's camp. There's actually, ironically, no meat on the map yet. So rebuilding the trapper's camp is maybe not the most urgent thing, but we'll do it anyway, because if we find meat, we want it. The uh, haunted smell- jeez. Look at all these ruins. And the small destroyed caravan. I don't have any amber for them, but I do have the packs of provisions. So, oh, actually. Either of these glade events. They do not give amber. Okay. This one would, if we were to trade stuff. Oh, we will get tools from this. We can complete a cache. We have a cache? Yeah, we have a cache right there. And we would get amber from that. And we could use that amber to finish send the destroyed caravan to the citadel. Looting it gives us better grain production, which is nice. But look at that, we got two star mushrooms. Oh, we don't have an upgraded herbalist camp, we have upgraded forager's camp, right? Still still nice to have that. Okay. Carpenter, we don't need the carpenter right away. We don't need a smelter right away, but these are very nice things to have. Three star biscuits, wonderful. And then we'll rebuild this for sure. So let's send a guy off to do that. We'd rather do it quickly. And we want to open another glade. We'll open the small glade for the fence water. Good. What was... Okay, oh yeah, two glades in quick succession. There's a second glade in quick succession. This gives us some people, some tools, some incense. And using those tools, we... Do we have 15 now? No, we still only have 10. So soon we'll be getting an additional 12. Oh. Yeah, as soon as they're done this. 35 seconds remaining. Pretty fast. That is awesome. Well, here we go. Another good start. And... Two seconds, there you go. We do need food. Call of the Ruins will deliver that, getting gaining us reeds and a tool shop to go along with our haunted smelter. We have the tools now, so I can take... Well, I don't have to take them out. They're already out. Yeah. We'll send a couple of people over to bring those goods to the Citadel. We can mine some clay at some point. We're waiting on... Amber. Oh, we want a herbless camp. Perfect. That works out quite well, because we can absolutely harvest that stuff with our harpies, who are very efficient with it. We haven't seen a drizzle water geyser yet. Let me just double check, though. Yeah, no geysers around here. Okay. We haven't seen a drizzle water geyser, so I'm not going to take the greenhouse right now. I, I don't want to take that and then just be kind of stuck with it. Plantation for berries and plant fibers, not terrible. 
We do have fertile soil already. The tea house for tea production and porridge. We can use the porridge. We can definitely use the tea if we get some treatment facility. That costs us water. We do have a clearance water geyser. We are apparently getting resin from the trees that we would just need a source of copper bars and crystallized dew, which we have a smelter for. Actually, I don't think copper is very easy to find here. So the smelter is not terribly useful to us because we don't even have a source of copper other than buying it from traders, I suppose. We could do that. Maybe I will take the plantation just to make sure that we have pretty easy access to food. On the other hand, getting plus three resolve from the Gleeman's Tales is not a terrible idea. What does it take to build this? Hmm. We can afford to build that. Just get plus three resolve just like that. I want to keep my people fed though. Right now we have a food problem, so we'll take that. And the smithy, tavern, and supplier. We don't need the smithy. The supplier for flour is looking pretty good. I guess we could take the tavern now. Clay pit we don't need for sure. Supplier for two star flour. Uh, maybe we should just take it for to make sure we have flour. We could also make water skins. Uh, tavern. Yeah, we'll take the supplier. Okay. We aren't really aiming for leisure or luxury. Any well, luxury is not a bad idea because the fox is like it. I always forget the fox is like luxury. I always think of them as treatment of brawling, but they have three services that please them. We could get this built. And I am going to... Actually, I'm just going to place both of them. Oh, we need a tree chopped down. Take that out of the way, please. Hmm. Okay. Herbalist camp is up and running. I can grab somebody from the forage camp to replace them with a beaver. And then... There you go. Gather us some berries and mushrooms, please. It is the end of the drizzle season, so we won't actually be making use of this stuff. I, we could. We could. Let's put a couple guys in. See how they do. They decide to go back and have a break before they start planting. That's alright. Take your time. I don't think we'll be gathering much food here. Okay, they got that tree chopped down, so we can put another plantation right there. We really don't need the plant fiber, so don't bother making any of that. We have a lot of plant fiber we can gather by harvester, and we also have reeds available to us every five, five every minute. So we are not going to be running out of fabric anytime, ever. And the trees themselves probably give it too. Yeah, plant fiber from the trees. We'll have a ton. Gained 0.75 reputation. I can tell somebody to start sending this to the Citadel. We're, we, have, we need 15 amber. They're gathering 20. So that's good. I think they're a little bit pressed on time port though. So we were in clear season, they didn't actually plant anything. I can tell one of these, we'll tell these two guys to bring the stuff over and then probably swap them out for a, um, a fox, just to lower the time further if we need to. Another plantation going up though, so we'll be prepared for next year. Low on food, people are hungry, unfortunate. I think something that would help with that is if I were to build a, uh, a field kitchen. Let's get one of those going. And in the field kitchen, we can make whatever foods they want, but we're not using our special fuels. Wood only. We have 370 wood. No problems there. And yeah, don't make the pickled goods because we have better production of that in the granary. All right, plantation is up and running. Finding a source of meat would be wonderful. Let us make jerky for our harpies. And we do have skewers for foxes. They would like that. I don't have any of the resources required. No meat, no water. We can get the water fixed pretty quickly. We even have some great... You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Make some forage at the very least. Geyser pump up here. And we have three people available for... Oh, how are they doing on this? Five minutes, they'll have it done in time. So no concerns there. We'll put... One guy in here, one guy in here. And they're just waiting for the fox to finish building that geyser pump. I could... Oh, don't need to. I was about to favor on the, the harpies, but we're fine. They got some food, I guess. Harpy housing, beaver housing, etc. That would be nice stuff to have. How are we doing looking at for a hearth? Another hearth could go up. Hmm. Things are in the way, though. We don't need this, do we? Oh, this is the smelter. We do want the smelter. We don't need the carpenter. Axe of Luxury Good Production is nice, though. Not sure about that. 
We'll take the woodcutters out, of course. The harpies are still going to be upset about stuff. Dark and spooky forest. We can accept some people and then put them into the plantation. I'm worried it's going to increase our hostility to level 2 and then we'll actually have hail. Because I don't know if we have enough housing for everyone. Well, we want foxes. Let's take the foxes. We need to get to 12 at some point. It did increase us to 2 hostility. Okay, that's very concerning. What we want to do... Well, we want some people planting, so let's get them in there. How are we going to reduce our hostility right now? Probably by losing somebody. We'll just lose a harpy. <laughs> that will reduce the hostility and then things should be okay. A sacrifice I am willing to make. There you go. No longer at two hostility, so hailstorm's not a concern. And we are still unhappy though. I do have a lot of wood. I guess I could have just burned wood instead of letting a harpy go. That was a little selfish of me. I'll put a harpy in there, and the geyser pump needs to be upgraded so that we're getting water. How much? We have six wild presses. I wonder whether this is worth it, actually. Maybe. Let's just put a fox in there instead of upgrading it. And then... And then we hold on to that wild presses for making a third hearth when possible. Speaking of hearths, I would really like to put it here. So let's get our woodcutters over that way. And just chop down a couple trees. Make room. Also, speaking of which, we should get pathing going all the way. This guy can move out. There we go. There's some stone roads. We're just burning all the wood. That's okay, we have a ton. Value of goods sold. I guess we should maybe build a trading post is what I was going to say, but we ran out of stuff to forge. Hmm. Okay. Definitely time to open another glade and hope that we find some food. In fact, we had... Ah, oh, we can open small glades. That's okay. We have a good amount of stuff to work with right now, so let's just chop down the trees to the small glade here see what's in there. Hopefully it's got food. Um, and then, if not, then we'll open a dangerous blade. Die extractor, cannibalism, lost in the wilds, and exploration contract. So, five pigment for every ten insects produced. Are there insects on this map? There are no insects on this map, so that does not appeal to me. Cannibalism does not appeal. Lost in the wilds is meh. Exploration contract is a little bit better than lost in the wilds, but still not much better. We'll reroll. Titan belt is wonderful. I like it a lot. Small press is also good. Silent looting is okay. It's, it's actually pretty good. But Titan Belt is the one I want. And definitely time to build a trading post. And also a Blight Post. Let's get the Blight Post over here. Nope, can't fit. Like that. And the trading post. I'll just wait on the... Uh, it takes 15 wood. We can certainly afford it. Put that down there. We want our woodcutters, of course. We have... All of our beavers and plantations, which was my choice. I did choose to do that. These two are done in a second. Perfect. We'll put them in the woodcutters camp over the yonder. And new orders. Let's have a look. Okay. Deliver a bunch of packs within six minutes. Not happening. Keep the foxes above 24 resolve and deliver 20 T. Gain forage production. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I think we'll take that. The other option does excite me. And... Need for treatment fulfilled, need for jerky fulfilled, and harpies. I think we'll take the treatment because we certainly could be making tea. Did I end up... I don't think I took that building. I could have taken the tea house and I didn't. So that might have been a missed opportunity on my part. There's meat over here. Good. Get somebody working on that. Oh, I'll send a harpy. And also a small encampment. We don't have the food for them, so no sense in bothering with it just now. But we are making porridge to survive. Nice. The blight post is going up. The harpies are unhappy. We'll favor the harpies temporarily. I think. What else do we need? We need. We don't need as much wood, actually. We could probably just remove some woodcutters. You guys as well. I should be able to build a hearth there now. Yeah. Excellent. We'll get some housing up. I'll stop favoring the harpies. I think they had some food. And we will remove... We'll remove some woodcutters. 
206 wood so far. Not bad. Getting meat now does allow us to make jerky. Which means we will be also consuming some more wood. The foxes are happy. Okay. That's 18. They're going up to 18. 2 out of 12 foxes, nowhere near that. But if we get a little bit higher, then we could favor them to get fox villagers completed. Old Farleth is here. Welcome. You have building materials for us. We're doing final planks. No need to buy any. Um, I don't have much amber to trade you anyhow. Precise do. On the other hand, that lets us build fox houses. I'm going to take three crystallized dew, trade for it, and tell our... Who is it? Crude workstation. I never built a crude workstation. <laughs> we haven't been making bricks at all. That's alright. Um, I was going to tell the crude workstation not to use the crystallized dew for pipes. No need. We can build this over here. That should be good. Once the hearth is up and running, the foxes will be happy with their fox house. And we can get some beaver houses going as well. The lumber mill is working hard. Uh, I don't need scroll production. Packs of goods. Actually, I'd rather turn these off as well for now. If we get those resources, then I'd rather hold on to them. And we'll put a beaver into the hearth. Fox house is up. Oh, look at that. Boom. Up to 24. That's amazing. So we are going to favor them just to make sure we get that fox resolve completed. Although we still need to deliver 20 tea. And the blade post. I forgot to tell people to actually work in there. We'll replace... Uh, we'll replace the harpy with him. Beaver with... Or the, that harpy with the beaver. Put two in the blight post. What else can we do? We're not doing so hot on food. Can take someone out of the granary, I guess. Are we doing okay on wood? Yeah, we're doing fine on wood. So this person can replace the guy in the greenery, and they'll go on the blight post instead. We are increasing our wood consumption, fuel consumption all around, so I'm uncertain about whether we'll have enough with only three wood cutters right now. We'll see. Definitely don't want to be stuck with no wood during the storm. Low on food. Some trades are available. Packs of luxury goods. Coal. Resin. We could sell resin. It doesn't cost any packs of provisions, and we have a lot of it. One more minute, and then fox villagers will be ready once we have the tea for it. Harvesting berries. Looking good. Gaining a good amount of food out of it. And apparently we don't have enough meat to do that. I, I want to forbid the consumption of meat, but I know it's going to go badly. We'll run out of complex foods at some point and then our people will starve and they'll be like, Oh, why did you turn off meat? Okay, so two parts or... Uh, well, we want the foxes, so we'll take it for more parts. More parts and more people. We can't get the crystallized dew going, though. Resolve is low, really? We have no problem with fabric, so I'll build a couple of harpy places by three of them build three of them even and a uh, couple of beaver places as well one beaver place for now and then a park okay stop favoring the foxes oh that actually still keeps them above their reputation threshold that's good and how are we doing on the bricks even though i haven't made a single brick this game let's get our crude workstation going I'll put that down here. We want the bricks for sure. Can I click on it? There we go. No fabric, no planks, just bricks. Oh, I guess we need to actually mine some clay for it, so we'll put a stone curse camp as well. We have clay all over the place. Right there. And... Hmm. I guess that's good enough. What are we doing on that? Oh, okay, good. We got lots of purging fire. No problem. House is going up, making people happy. Okay. We'll remove the woodcutters, of course. We don't want that hostility. We are in the hailstorm, rotting wood, flooded roads. Those are fine. The cost for 
travel routes or trade routes are increased by two. Yeah, we'll just not send anything. I'd rather hold on to the packs of provisions. We only have six, I think, total. If I remember correctly. I can put these guys into mine the clay. Nowhere for this forger's camp to go at the moment. RP resolve is low. Okay. Favor them temporarily. And what do we get from this? We get clay, right? Clay and insects. Oh, how about that? We do have insects. We can put a couple of guys in there just for the time being. And then the crude workstation, we want to be making ourselves some bricks. I'll stop favoring the harpies so that the beavers don't leave us. And then we'll have to burn some fuel. Did they? We got plus two from this. Why are the harpies so upset? They're not hungry, are they? Nope. They've got jerky? What do you guys want? Alright. Fine, fine, we'll burn some wood. Ooh, see this is scary. Now we're running low on wood. Definitely gotta put all those beavers back in the wood cutting next year. Okay, good. Now they're fine. Need for treatment fulfilled. That is our main goal, I guess. We're maxed out on water. Actually, speaking of which... No, no clearance water places. The carpenter for packs of luxury goods is fine. Flawless smelter. Biscuit production would be great. Old fedora hat is great. Royal guard training. I like burnt to a crisp and lumber tax. So one amber for every 50 wood produced is actually pretty cool here because we are producing so much wood. Because it's the royal woodlands and beavers. At the same time, burnt to a crisp, giving us 20 coal for every three burned blight rot cysts. Feels nice. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Old Fedora hat is amazing, actually, but I'm not going to take it. I'll take burnt to a crisp. I like it a lot. And then... Okay, dangerous glades in time. We could do this. Gets us a lot of uh, pipes. I'd rather do the trade routes one to get better pack production. That just feels like a much better reward to me. And selling reeds, we can sell reeds. Take them all. Oh, we have a lot of packs provisions. No, we don't. <laughs> we only have six. Still restoring to six. These guys. Hold on. Is that... 25? Well, that's a much better deal. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Thank you. Actually, hold on. I think I can do one more. If I reduce this. No, it takes two packs. I'm going to say show only of the uh, available ones. That cleans it up nicely so I don't have to scroll up and down. Oh, wood cutting. Let's take our woodcutters out of the stonecutters camp. The field kitchen, we can replace them with, I don't know who, but we'll find somebody. Crude workstation, he can work in the field kitchen instead. Yeah, we'll put these two guys in there. What do we need the bricks for? Oh, for the forsaken altar, right. We'll probably be fine without a forsaken altar, perfectly honest. Um, Woodcutters camp, we need people in there for sure. Who else can we take out of where? I guess we're we're fine on water, so we'll use that fox in the, the plantation? Yeah, sure, we can put him in the plantation. The beaver in the woodcutters. When do we get our next group of newcomers in? Four minutes. Okay. So right now, oh, I guess we could get extra workers out of here. We don't need three people in there. We don't even need one person in there. Bliss has, oh, Bliss has tea. Well, that's nice. How much tea can we get for 10 amber? 13. I need a total of 20 for my one order. So let's say 20 and trade. What else should we trade here? Hmm. I can trade parts. I can trade lumber. Uh, planks. No, 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 no. That barely costs anything. How many tools? Four tools. All right. Well, I mean, it gets us, gets us another building blueprint. Oh, so does this right here. Two more people, perfect. Four more people, excellent. Look at us go. Two building blueprints. A clothier is not bad. Herbless camp upgrade would be nice as well. I think we're doing okay on food though. I press for flour, for oil production, I mean. Herbless camp or clothier, it's between these two. We have two star mushrooms that are available to us. Oh, we have sea marrow as well. Be a good idea to mine that. In fact, we have the extra workers, so let's get that going. 
I'll put them between. They can decide. Oh. Never mind. They can't. I just want to get that going. In case we need it. How are we doing on bricks? 11 out of 12 bricks. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'll move them back. Alright. We have... Yeah. Clothier or Herbalist Camp? We're able to make a lot of berries as it is. I think I'll take the clothier here because the coats make our beavers and harpies happy. A grill, an apothecary for the tea production. Tea, incense, and biscuits are not bad. We have three-star biscuits already available to us in that smelter. The grill for skewers. That's an option. It only makes the foxes happy, though. And a bathhouse or a temple. I guess treatment is good. We're aiming for treatment, so we can take that. These effects are fine. Not the most exciting. I'd rather find a different service building that does treatment. And we can take the tea production and just be ready for, uh, for when we do find that service building. Is the tea house only one bar per 10 tea? If so, then we would be way better off finding a tea house. Yeah, I think that's the case. Take the bathhouse here. Alright, 9 out of 12 foxes. We've actually grown our fox population very quickly. We're only year 4 and we got 9 of them. Food workstation, I need somebody in there. Please. I could add somebody to the trapper's camp. I want to open another glade. Also, what's available to us? Copper... Where did we get copper ore? Okay, there's a mystery. These themselves don't give copper ore. Okay, well let's build our smelter. A flawless smelter. This costs us some resin. I don't know where we got that incense either. Fine. Probably from an order. Doing this means we get minus two resolve while working on it. Too bad. Actually, that's going to make the start of the storm a little bit harsh. This may be a bad idea to start it now. Four minutes. Might be making a mistake here. Uh, newcomers, there we go. Two more foxes. We're very close now. And we need more housing. What can we use for houses? Clothes here, we should build that. I did pick it for a reason. Put that down. And the bathhouse, we won't put that down just yet. We can put a forsaken altar. It looks like we don't have enough wood. We need more wood, guys. There's... Well, you guys have run out of stuff to chop down. You guys also seem to have run out. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this choice. Actually, we got more foxes. We can speed it up. There we go. Three and a half minutes. That's much more reasonable. We can put up with half a minute of low resolve. Low deer for the harpies. Perfect. We'll turn off the water skin production. Turn off the scroll production. Just make us coats. I'll say a limit of uh, 50 coats is fine, I think. And we need housing. That's very important. I'll build a beaver house. RP resolve is low. We have three houses for them. We don't have any fabric. We just used all to make coats, I guess. Resolve is low. We take one woodcutter out. That helps. So we'll do it. Oh, not enough, though. Really? Haunted. Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully, building a couple of beaver houses will help. Oh, there you go. Now they're fine. Not sure what changed there. They're not wearing their coats yet. How many of you guys have in storage? None. It takes a while to make them, eh? Hmm. Cheap on materials, heavy on labor. Expensive on labor. And we'll build a, a big shelter. Oh, we're running out of time. The storm is here. Build me a couple of regular shelters, please. Are we not using that parent's water? They've run out of these resources. Oh. Okay. People are a little bit upset. We can burn some coal, I guess. Apparently we got some... Oh, Burnt to a Crisp is going to give us coal. Oh, it's just barely not enough. Okay. We're not doing so hot on the wood, though. We'll burn wood. And we will say 
more important to use these as fuels, not the sea marrow. Uh, and then this, and then this. That's how we'll do it. And given that's the case, I'm going to go over and mine the sea marrow just in case we actually need fuel this storm. Take all the woodcutters out, of course. Ooh. This thing done yet? 20 seconds. Uh-oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Minus to resolve. Can I fix this at all? Doesn't look like it. Kind of. Okay. Oh, we still lost a beaver. Wow. Oh, no sense in burning the materials now. This should be done in seven seconds, and hopefully that will stop them from leaving. Nope, we're still going to lose people. That's... Wow, what is going on? Alright, we'll burn some wood. That's enough. Huh. Losing people. Well, that's alright. We'll be fine. Except for the wood that's going down. What has changed? We have housing. Just looming darkness. And not a lot of hostility. We have coats for them. Wow. I guess we'll make some biscuits. And we'll let them make the copper bars, of course. Except not right now, because we don't have any fuel. And we don't have any flour, either. Oh, hi Hmm. How do I get out of this one? Favor the boxes temporarily. Now they're very upset. We'll burn some more wood. Harvesters are out of stuff to get. Yeah, there's nowhere for them to go, so we'll take them out. We are not using up that clearance water. Yeah, it's going to be time for us to open another glade just to find... Oh, good, they're building the Forsaken Altar. Just to find a source of stuff that we can use in forage and flour. Summon Smuggler. Somehow the Priestess knows the Smuggler and can summon him to, for a price. You can choose two blueprints from all unlocked blueprints. That is an amazing cornerstone to take. Cannibalism, 30 meat and 20 jerky every time a villager dies or leaves. That's funny. Prayer book for faster uh, glade event work speed. I think the summon smuggler is what we'll take here. I don't need this. I think we're doing perfectly fine without it. Um, but it does speed things up for us. Did I already take the two star pre tea? No, I didn't. And C is way more efficient. So one star tea production is great. I think we'll be taking that, the tea house, and the forester's hut to produce crystallized dew because there's no other source of, no reliable source of copper for copper bars and so on. Tea house, forcer's hut, I think these are the things to go with. And we'll put the forcer's hut down here. There's one spot right there, yeah, that's it. Sweet. Bays will build the tea house now if possible, yep. And these guys wanna leave again. Alright, gotta burn some more wood. We don't have any wood, so we'll burn some coal. Might have to just stay by to a fox. I really don't want to lose the foxes, though. So. And, oh, of course this hut is up and running. We can put some guys in here. I'll set four on it for now, just to fertilize the fields, because we're basically done this season, but we're going to be putting them into the woodlands, uh, into the woodcutters very soon anyway. And we can favor the foxes, stop burning the coal, that will get us to the end of the storm. Save that tiny little bit of coal. Alright, Zidani's here to see us, we have a new cornerstone, driving water, metallurgic proficiency, blood price contract, and guild catalog. Metallurgic proficiency is a pretty good one to take right now, because we do have the crystallized dew production, so this speeds up the production of tea and tools and pipes and so on so of these i like that one the most 
Also, I just had the thought. Clears water, clothier. That's something we should boost. And again, that's all we have for clearance water. If we were to rebuild this, then we would get something that uses clearance water, but I don't know that we need it so much. We have a tool shop, which is much better. New orders. Let's have a look. Burn blight rosses. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Deliver clearance water. We can do that too. Deliver storm water. I'm not so sure. We'll do the burn blight rosses. And new stuff. Well, now we want our resin because we can use that for the tea. If I sell all of our berries, does that mean we're starving? Maybe it does. So I'm not going to send those off. The foxes, ironically, are very happy now. But if I unfavor them, then the harpies are happy. And I think they deserve it more following how that storm went. These guys are doing their thing. I need... I need woodcutters. Place these beavers. The flawless smelter doesn't need three people in it. I'll turn on the copper bar production again. Make use of that copper that we've mysteriously received. Training here is always an option too. Put the woodcutters in. And one of you is going to go open up this dangerous blade down here. I guess I should probably check what Zidani has to trade. Our corrupted caravan. We can, oh, we've got the reeds. We can use the reeds. We have the purging fire. And while working on this, it will spawn cysts, which is a be benefit to us. So yeah, sure, we'll do that one. I can take a guy out of the trapper's camp or the stone camp. We'll take him out of the stone camp. That one's not as urgent. Go cleanse that, please. And we have a workshop. I don't need the workshop. Better brick production is fine, I guess but it's not really a vital need. Unfortunately, there's no real food in here. We can make use of the forest camp for the two star vegetables that are available. Uh, we also are lacking people. Just do something like this. Once these guys are done cleansing this, they can go work in the forest camp. See you, Danny. You probably have good food for us. Increases the amount of goods produced in the crew workstation. That doesn't mean anything to us. More jerky is okay. Better forge is okay. I guess, what would we want? Tools, really. The materials to make tools would be wonderful. I might just pass on this. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Oh, actually, how are we doing on the resources here? We're out of planks? Because we ran out of wood. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, Yeah, you don't sell any anyways. How much can we get for 35 amber? We wanted to buy tools. Seven tools for 35 amber. It's really underwhelming. I'm going to hold on to them. This was resin and fabric now as well. Doing okay on fabric? We should have a... Like, we should be able to make infinite fabric. Okay. I'll do that. Small herbalist camp. Oh no. Okay. Well, you guys can go work in the forger's camp then. I... Uh, yeah. We're really lacking in raw natural resources. I think that means we need to build ourselves another plantation down this way. Hold on. Did I not upgrade the Herbless Camp? No, I didn't. Interesting. Two more foxes. Oh, foxes are happy. Good, good. We're about to get another building... Not a building blueprint, but another reputation anyway. We're making progress. Year five. Not too bad. The clearance water is going down. That's good to see. It means that people are doing things. What are we looking for the price now? Four. Four people. We have 32 people. We can accept more. They come with tools. But we have two foxes here, and that's what we want. Two foxes, and then if we favor them, we'll have completed the fox population order. Sorry, harpies. We won't have time to plant in that plantation down there. Do I just salvage this? Packs of luxury goods. We can make packs of luxury goods out of the tea that we can produce eventually. And incense. Yeah, you know what? Let's just rebuild it for that. Not a bad thing to do. Investigate. And these guys are about to do this for a reputation as well. Okay. Box population is done. We'll stop favoring them. Complete that, gain some pickled goods to make them happier. And we got a druid hut for making oil. 
I don't think we have much in the way of resources for oil because we've run out of meat on the map. We're running out of meat. We'd rather use that for food. But another building blueprint is always wonderful to get. Stamping mill, not needed. Distiller, wait, not needed. Yeah, we've got a supplier. Smokehouse for jerky? That's not bad. Pie production is something too. But harpies like that. Yeah, interesting. Between jerky and pies. Okay, so so jerky, obviously three stars, is very efficient. Make use of the low number of meat that we have available to us. But then at the same time, we can make pies out of meat as well. Which harpies also like. And we can make better bricks. Let's take the furnace. That's a druid's hut. I don't really feel a need to build that at this time. We'll move the harvester's camp out of the way so we can put the... Where is it? <laughs> the furnace down here. We're going to have a lot of purging... Uh, light cysts, that's the word. Cysts this year. So let's get our guys making some purging fire. We are not looking so hot on wood. I find this very surprising. I guess we'll widen more area around here. Reputation's rising, though. Happy to see it. And... Oh. We are just running out of planks, apparently. New trade routes? Sell berries? Nope, not doing that. Thanks. Trappers can't have no deposits nearby. That's why I was a little bit worried about. So we need to find more food. Might be time to open more small glades. I feel the small glades are not really worth opening, though. Like, in terms of hostility gained to actual resources found. Small glaze is 15 each. Dangerous for forbidden glaze is 30 each. So, ah, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I guess we'll open a small glaze, sure. Try it out, see what we get. I can take the people out of the trapper's camp for now. minute 40 seconds and then we'll have that finished what else can we do okay we got another reputation from resolve loving it tinctory provisioner provisioner from packs of provisions is cool we haven't actually been making any we're just living on titan belts you know what i'm happy with living on titan belts we have a herbless camp upgrade here which helps us a lot that means we can now harvest those mushrooms we've also run out of clearance water that's uh, an oversight on my part should get people working on it again these harpies We'll, we'll put a fox in there right now. Put the beaver in the crew workstation and put harpies over here. We're still doing well on housing. That's nice. Uh, I always do that. I click on it when we don't need to. Alright. New glade open. It has some eggs. Okay, sure. We can gather those. It's not terribly exciting though. See, like 15 hostility for that. Oh, drizzle water geyser though. Ooh. Let's build one of those. Yes. Granary can be boosted. What does the granary actually give us right now? Could give us packs of uh, or pickled goods. We're not really using those. I don't need the better fabric. Field kitchen doesn't feel good to upgrade. Oh, okay. Maybe we don't need the crystal water. We'll have it anyway. Doesn't hurt. Uh, we can use it for the tea house. Very worth. Excellent. And make us tea, make us porridge. Don't bother with the water skins, even though those would let us make uh, pickled goods. I'm just going to say no, don't bother. And the porridge will be made there instead of here. I'll even take somebody out. Oh, you don't need to make biscuits here either. Jerky is the only thing. Actually, I'm going to say don't make jerky. I'd rather not use the fuel right now. And I will say that the biscuits are certainly more important than the copper bars. And over here, the porridge is more important than the tea. But uh harpy in there because they're really good at it. And once we have the building materials, we'll build ourselves that bathhouse. Any more planks and fabric? Ironically, those are the two things we should have plenty of. I'll just place it now. Another reputation from that glade event? Perfect. And that means we can get two more cornerstones from the forbidden altar. I may as well, right? It just speeds things up. I don't need the copper bars from here. The bricks are good. The pies are good. I'll say the pies are more important than the bricks, though. 
Well, we'll put guys in there. We can use our meat for those instead of uh, jerky. I will destroy this field kitchen. We get some planks and fabric back. Crowded caravan, cannibalism, and generous rations. I love generous rations. Increases global resolve by five. Villagers have a 10% chance of not consuming food during a break. This is so amazing. Obviously, we're going to take that. Like, I, I think the normal generous rations is good. The 50% increased chance of consuming double the food during a break is still worth it for five global resolve. Here, it's actually benefiting our food consumption. Oh, wow. And then overexploitation or secure trail. Um... Or metallurgic proficiency, plus one to copper bar and crystallized dew production. I like that. Let's take it. Overexploitation is really good though. But yeah, we'll get a ton of crystallized dew. Speaking of which, where where are we making tools? We don't have a tool shop built. Probably should have done that at some point. Let's put him over here. This guy's out of water apparently. Because I don't have anybody in there. Crappers camp, we can put somebody in that as well. We have a bunch of woodcutters that we don't need, so let's take them out. Sacred flame rituals means we will be paying a bunch of wood at the end of the storm. Or at the end of the drizzle season, whatever. Oh! Okay, we're about to lose people. We are nowhere near on the fuel reserves. Oh crap, how did that happen? Wait a second. 842%. I know we had this thing. Did it really generate that much? Okay. I should have paid attention to it. We're about to lose a lot of population. Uh. Okay, how quickly can we get another blight post up? We need six planks for it. So if I put that down here. We have one plank held in that. We're not going to need the housing soon, so I can destroy a big shelter. I'd like to be able to see how many houses we have, how much housing we have over the number needed. That'd be kind of a cool metric to have. 38 total. We're about to lose three. What else can we do? They're rebuilding this and it costs five planks. I'm going to cancel that. And then we'll cancel this as well. And I need to just super high priority on this. We have the parts, we have the bricks. It's just the planks that we need. Actually, they have a lot of planks in here, but we'll, we'll destroy this one. That's the one plank that we need. Goodbye, people. Okay. Real shame. Farmers died. We lost a farmer in each farm. Suddenly, everyone's really unhappy. I don't know why. What happened in your lives that would make you upset? We'll replace the boxes here. Oh, and we have another plantation down this way. Let's put guys in there just for the time being. Okay. Okay. Doing that. We're down to 666% corruption. There goes more people. Blightfighter died, so we certainly want more of those around. We'll take them out of the forges camp. We're doing okay on food. Not amazingly. I don't want this to be permanently out of food production, but we definitely need to get our Purging fire, go on. And a farmer again. We'll leave the farmer out. Another plate. Okay, hold on. Why is everyone really upset, though? We out of food? I was kind of joking about what's what's upsetting you guys, but I don't think they actually lose resolve for people dying, do they? Huh. Okay, can we burn a little? Oh, we are running low on wood. I think what we need to do is use our sea marrow for fuel so that we're not consuming that and allow them to make uh, yeah use any fuel for making your purging fire we gotta survive okay add this harpy over here the reason I want the harpies is because they have that chance of doubling production on it. There we go. Make that purging fire. And we don't want them leaving naturally, so we have to burn something. Somebody's about to die anyways. Okay, we'll do this just to prevent them from leaving. I hope. 
and then people die. Lumber mill, another farmer, and a herbalist. Okay, we're losing a lot of food production. We don't need to burn coal anymore. Hostility went down, perfect. I say perfect, but that's not how it feels. <laughs> Definitely feels like a bad thing. Wow, 866% corruption. Can't believe we got that high. Anything else I can do? I don't think so. I think we just have to watch them die. Smelter died, builder died, and a farmer died. There goes all of our farmland. Hmm. Fortunately, our impatience was very low, so we're not really at risk of losing the game. It's just slowing us down quite a lot, which is still sad. And and we're not happy that we're losing people, of course. Light fighter died. Got to replace him. I uh, will put another beer in. Did I? Do we have any other harpies around? Doesn't look like it. Nope. We have seven harpies, though. One in there. Oh, one in the tea house. Yeah, whatever. We'll leave them there. Need for treatment fulfilled isn't been done, but we could if we had more people. We're making tea, right? Nope, we're not. What are you waiting on? Or crystallized dew, it seems. Huh. Okay, farmers, farmers, farmers. Smelter. Right. Storm is over. Well, I will not say that that went well. But look at how happy they are, though. New cornerstone, improvised tools. We must have gotten a ton of coal, though. Baptism of fire. Oh, how ironic. Every three burnt blight rots this lowers hostility by 10. While the hearth is corrupted, you're unable to sacrifice resources. So we're expecting to see a lot more blight rots this. Let's take baptism of fire to reduce our hostility. Again, old fedora hat is still amazing. Improvised tools is okay. Urban planning, meh. It's not that great, in my opinion. Okay, upgraded trappers camp. We already have one of those. By half a reputation point, that helps. I'm uh, not against doing that. Our food is decreasing because we don't have workers for it. I'll take this half a, half a reputation point though. And oh, I meant to click on the trade route. Oh, I still meant to click on the trade route. And trading bricks is an option, but I'm not going to take it. What do we have for building blueprints? Tavern, Explorer's Lodge, Clay Pit, and Beater. You know what? The Explorer's Lodge is really good for us because we have quite a few ruins around here. We'll take that. I am going to remove that beaver from there. Horse hut, you have two guys. We'll leave you with that. Granary, crude workstation. We don't need the crude workstation right now. I don't think we need two people in the clothier. We'll leave it with one. We need wood cutting for sure. And this guy in the plantation can be replaced. Who are we replacing with? We'll take people out of the blight post. You two need to work on this, but you I'm only letting you use ah, you can use coal, I guess. Yeah, yeah, use coal because we get the coal from burning cysts, so it kind of pays itself off, I guess. Plantation. Definitely need workers in the plantation. We Yeah, that plantation as well. And do we have a third one? Yeah, we do, right there. Run out of people though. Hmm. Are we doing okay on planks? I don't think we need building materials right now. And he's got, he's got planks stockpiled because he's done a good job. So we'll take him out, put him in the woodcutter's camp. As well as the clothier can be replaced by a harpy. Okay, we'll take a harpy out of the blade post and hopefully they won't run out of time to make that purging fire. Okay. Wow, fascinating. That certainly made things exciting. Need for treatment fulfilled. At some point, we'll have tea. I'm amazed, though, because I, I could have sworn we saw them gathering like six crystallized dew at a time. Look at this. Making four crystallized dew right now. Hey, look, people. I would like parts, I think. Uh, not parts. Those are tools. That's what I meant. And... Okay. I'm gonna help add a helper there. Bathhouse would be a good time. Let's get the tea on. I'm gonna add another guy to help. He's busy making porridge. There we go. Now we're making tea. Trade routes are available. What is this? Clay itself? Nah. We're fine. Oh, and by the way. Undo this. Don't burn our Sumero. 
Oh, I didn't use the wood again. I'll say 20. We needed 30 there, right? I'm going to increase this to 30. I do not want to be in that same situation again. I could go down and mine sea marrow. Actually, sea marrow gives us stone, which we can use. So, sure. Let's use that instead. And the workshop. I have not rebuilt a workshop for the... Oh, we, don't, we really don't need to. So, let's salvage it using some reeds and some wood. No hurry on that job. I can put a guy in here for the food production. And we are missing a herbalist. And I'm also missing a... Oh, plantation worker, apparently. I thought we had them covered. I guess not. Also a trapper's camp. We don't need building right now. This guy is full on water. Do we have anything else? No. It's like most stuff requires storm water. And that's okay. I may as well boost the granary, right? Except that it generates more light rot. This is amazing. 663%. What is going on? Did I take something that increases the amount of blight rot we generate? I'm not used to this. I don't want to sell the tea. You can sell the reeds though. Oh, it takes some packs of provisions. I don't have enough. Alright. Doing okay. Yeah, I'd rather not sell those. We get guys working on treatment, I guess, in the bathhouse. It also increases overall um, production speed, right? So... It's not a bad thing to do. We're running low on pies. We'll take one of those guys out. What else? Greenery. We don't need the fabric production right now. Not able to make the pickled goods. And we can take somebody out of the geyser pump. I'll take them out of both pumps. No, no, no. The clearance is doing fine. We'll put him in there and him in there. We should start doling out the tea, keeping people happy. Smelter is out of copper anyway, so I don't mind having... We don't have flour. Where is the supplier? Did I... Hold on, did I not build a supplier? Ugh, that's a yikes. That is... That is embarrassing. Oh well. Build materials, just need the workers. Can I take this guy out temporarily? Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're, it doesn't look like we're building a third a, a hearth anyway. However, we don't have a source of planks. Tool shop. Oh, I deleted the tool shop. That's right. To recover resources. Um. Okay, let's get that going. And, quick check on the blight. Okay, we have enough to handle these cysts, but we are definitely going to need helpers to actually burn things down. Don't want to make planks here. I don't want to make water skids right now. Oh, there we go. Gained reputation. Perfect. Now, we'll take our woodcutters out, of course, and stick them in the blight post. You guys can help dole out the, the purging fire. Show those cysts who's boss. And I'm not doing trade routes because, well, apparently it's telling us we can. I'm not selling our berries, not selling our incense. No. What else do we have to do? Put a guy in this guy's pump, I suppose. The plantations have done good work. The forester's hat, I suppose, has done good work. We're somehow very low on crystallized dew. 20. They're delivering it right now. Okay. They're doing okay with making tea. We have a lot of resin. Tell them to only use that. Doing okay on water. We can put a fox in here to help with it. Nobody. And trade routes. We should be doing more trade routes. So, okay, I'll send a little bit then. We'll send a little bit of incense and a little bit of berries. And we'll not send any of those because they take packed provisions. Putting people in the smelter doesn't help us much. Putting people in the carpenter lets us make packs of luxury goods, which lets us do more trade routes. I do like that. Put somebody over there to rebuild it. Mm, tool shops more important though. Do that, please. Are we going to have? We are going to have issues. I believe I had the option of taking Firekeeper's armor earlier, 
I regret not having done so. We will need a third light post. Yeah. Losing people is sad. Farmers are dying. No. Oh. Builders dying. No. Oh. Cool shop is up and running though. So we have the crystallized dew, we have the pipes, we don't care about the barrels. Get a guy working this. And this is stormwater, so no sense in boosting it. It's very interesting, except for this insane amount of corruption. I'm, I'm still amazed by it. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, except for the corruption, we are in we're doing amazingly well. I guess we're only on Prestige 11, so that's probably part of it. New building blueprint for Cooperage, Herb Garden, Brickyard, and Tinctree. I don't really need any of these, so I'm just going to not worry about them. We have all the, again, we have all the production we need. We just need people at this point. We're in the middle of the storm, and the Harpies are happy. What? You guys don't even have the complex foods you like. How is that the case? All right. What? I don't understand. Is our services that strong? I should be using services more often. Parts, we're doing fine on parts. We would like more people, and there's the same number of people in either case, but there are more harpies here, and I feel that we have more jobs for harpies, so we'll put them in there. Supplier, clothier. Uh, it looks like only one guy is able to sustain enough coats anyway, so no sense putting multiple in there. But we don't have the actual... Ooh. We don't have the resources to make flour, unfortunately. Resolve is up, though. Local taxes, meat specialization, woodcutter song. I like the woodcutter song again. These are not the greatest options for us. Woodcutter song is fine, though. It oh, certainly looks like we're doing well on resolve, so it doesn't hurt to lean into that a bit. I need the woodcutters, of course. We're going wood. We're out of wood. And take them out of the light post. Okay. Something we need to do this year is build a third blight post. How are we doing on resources? Need some more planks. We can get there. And that's just so we can put people in it. They can help with the purging fire. Not with making the purging fire. What does the hydrant do? This is a small storage for purging fire. Blight fighters will use it to restock their fuel when fighting blight rot in the storm. Should I be building these? Hmm. Cleanliness. Okay. We get more harpies, we get better tea production. Sweet. And if we deliver the purging fire, then we will get another reputation. Complete some more trade routes, let's do that. So we'll do all these. So one thing of tools, one thing of parts, one thing of tools. And speaking of tools, are there even any caches for us to actually do? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so maybe tools wasn't really an important part of our plan anyway. Reputation sure is, or resolve sure is. Ah, we can make biscuits now though. That is important. Biscuits help, and pies help. We have the flour. Incredible! Doing okay on fabric? Doing okay. Not doing okay on planks. Put a guy in there. Our corruption is only 53% though, so it looks like this is going to be an easy storm. Hopefully we've won by then though. Look at this. Going way up. And completing another trade route? Sure. If I ever rebuilt this, then I wouldn't want to be sending that incense because we could turn it into packs of luxury goods, but it's at this point, we just want the reputation. We don't care about amber from trade routes anyhow. I am concerned that you guys are not making purging fire because I turned it off. That's why. Look at all that coal. Whoa. Where do we want to take people from? There's only one harpy in that plantation, apparently. Flawless smelter. Do we need two people in there? For the biscuits, maybe? We need the light fuel. Take a guy out of the furnace. Oh. This clicked. Turn off those. Use the coal for it. Make this as quickly as you can, please. And new trade routes. We only have one available to us, unfortunately. 
So I don't know that we'll actually be completing those. Well, we'll definitely be able to do Pyromancer. So we just need one more reputation here. And it, it, Oh no, their resolve is dropping. I was going to say, it looks like we'll get there, but no, now they're uh, not as pleased. What can we do to make you guys happy? Hmm. If I favor them... Building their houses might help. Don't have the resources for that. We do have the resources for the Harpy House. I could also just favor them. I want a little bit more resolve. So 15 Harpies means we may as well favor them. They gain us more reputation. 0.31 per minute. We can hit 17 before the storm hits, then we've won. It is close. I don't think it really matters whether we win this year or next year. I think we've got a lot of years remaining for us, but I still want to. Winning on year 7 feels good. Look at this. Way to go. Okay, so services are absolutely the way to win. Um, they give so much resolve. That's great. We got seven steel fragments because we were on prestige 11. And I think next up we'll probably have to go prestige 16, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. So this is, yeah, prestige 16 is where we'd have to go. We could go to the flooded mines. That's interesting. And the haunted forest. However, we're not able to do both of them. It's too far away. So in this case, we would go to the, flood, the flooded mines, if anything. We don't need to do this, but doing it would give us more embarkation... Um, embarkation reserve bonus points, whatever it's called. Sadrath the Wise. You meet a hooded figure on the side of the road. Their face is shrouded in darkness, but you recognize some familiar features. As the creatures approach you, the name of Sother immediately jumps to mind. Yet this isn't him. Another ancient one, perhaps? The man smiles gently, revealing a row of disturbingly sharp teeth. Ask for his help, pay 10 artifacts, and a chosen world map modifier will appear. Whoa! That's cool. Never seen that. Or sell 10 artifacts, gain 25 food stock ball. It is technically a bonus, a net gain for us to do that. But, chosen world map modifier will appear. I don't mind spending 10 artifacts. I want to see what the options are. Holy cow. The options are plenty. This modifier is blocked by a nearby biome. Interesting. I wonder what I wonder what biomes are blocking those. It's it's blocked by the biome he's on, right? What is this? This is the Royal Woodlands? So you cannot get those on those locations. Huh. Or is it that you can't get them on the marshlands or coral forest? Because it would be affecting those. Huh. So basically we just want to look for the easiest negative modifier, right? Statue of the Forefathers, you choose from one of your records, so that's not it. Spark Duke Crystal is not it. You're unable to pause them. No, we're not doing that. Ooh, actually, this might be a tough choice. Dangerous and Forbidden Glade warnings are disabled. That's really fine. I don't mind that one. Frost is also okay. Um, Restaurant, Barren Lands, Bandit Camp, no trading. Monastery of the Hor Holy Flame. What do we want here? I don't want the positive modifiers because they just don't... I mean, obviously they help, but they don't get us what we want, which is more embarkation points. Alright, that's all the positive. Can I say... Oh, negative. There you go. I only want to look at these. I think dangerous land... Not dangerous lands. Haunted forest. I think this is the easiest one. Dangerous and forbidden glade event warnings are disabled. That really doesn't matter to us too much. We can generally guess what's going to be a forbidden or a dangerous glade. And even if it is a forbidden glade... Well, that could turn up poorly, but it doesn't actually impact us, right? It's just knowledge, and we can work around not having knowledge. Also, Frost is really not bad either. This can even be nice, because then it lets us put multiple hearths closer together. That is kind of cool. Yeah, you know what? I think I like Frost. Haunted Forest is probably the better one to choose here, but I like Frost. Minus three to the radius of hearths. We just build two hearths pretty early on. 
and we can because they're uh, they're not taking up as much space. We'll do that. Sure, pick that. Very worth ten artifacts. That's great. Definitely prefer that over the flooded mines. 